<sighs> so it's finished, Huddersfield one, Sunderland nil. Huddersfield do the double over Sunderland. Fourth or bottom, managerless. Huddersfield do the double over Sunderland. Before I get into the game, I want to take a moment out to congratulate Huddersfield on their performance in beating Sunderland. Huddersfield, fourth or bottom, fighting against relegation. Stood up to the challenge, rose to the challenge, put the bodies on the line and created opportunities to win the game of football. So I'm not taking anything away from, Sun from Huddersfield when I do this match review. Nothing away from Huddersfield. Well done, Huddersfield. I hope you survive in the championship. But that the day, what a fucking waste of time this is. An absolute waste of time. It's pointless. It's, it's pointless. What is the purpose of our team? What is the purpose of Sunderland? What is the purpose of football to score goals? We create absolutely nothing. And I'm, I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm not joking, right? The real great opportunity we created the night was in the fucking 89th minute. It's a joke. 89th minute. Superb ball from Clark, who was man-marked out of the game. To Roberts, fed in. I think it was you. I'm not 100% sure. It was a great save or block or whatever it was. But it takes to the 89th minute to really get you excited about football. Excited about watching Sunderland play. 89 fucking minutes. Those Sunderland fans going down there paying hard-earned cash to watch that shite. It's unbelievable. We made one change. We brought back Job. I have to say was pretty poor, to be fair. <clears throat> and we dropped Roberts to the bench. And, and apart from that one opportunity I've talked about there, when Roberts came on, he didn't really do much more himself either. We've got no... I don't want to take anything away from Rusham. I don't think any of our strikers are really out-and-out -out strikers. They're not really, you know, proper... Johnny on the spot strikers, other than not. Rushin drifts out to either side and he works his socks off. You know, at the end of the day, I'm not going to take anything away from Rushin because he gets nothing. He gets no service. He gets no change at all, the poor lad. He runs his socks off. A couple of times he got in behind the defenders in the first half just because of sheer pace alone. But just too much to do for the young lad. He gets nothing. He feeds off scraps. The seagulls, the fucking seagulls in my backyard get more scraps than fucking Lucian does. Huddersfield did a job on Jack Clark, but did they? Because our slow, our pace, our pace, fuck off. Our slow, our pace will start again. Our play and our play is ponderous. It is borderline, sloppy, ponderous, Sideways, backwards, sideways, backwards, passing. By the time we actually get towards the final third in Huddersfield's box, every man's behind the ball. We kind of get nothing out of it. We play a ball in the box and it just gets smothered. <clears throat> like I said, full marks to Huddersfield. Did a job on Sunderland tonight. Sunderland are just not good enough. We're not good enough. Now, whether... We're just not good enough this season, full stop. Or whether we're just not good enough away from home with Michael Bale, whether the tactics or whatever. I wanted to say this the other day. Did we beat Plymouth 3-1 because, right, when Plymouth came on second half, they faded with playing against Leeds over 120 minutes. They dropped off and we picked up the pace and we played better. I'm not taking anything away from that performance. But today, we showed nothing. I, I just don't understand the tactics of why we're playing 4-1-4-1 constantly. 
we need to have something different to supply these for our forward with anything or even create. We're too slow. We, we walk on the ball. Like I say, Jack Clark gets the ball left hand side. There's three Huddersfield men around him straight away. And he's trying to dribble past three men. And it's impossible. Even Moses couldn't open up that sea of players. <clears throat> it's an absolute wasted opportunity. This season, it's a wasted opportunity. Now, you, you, can, you can either have the cup half full or car half empty. It's up to you. The glass half full, half empty. You can say, yes, Terry, but now we've gotten rid of all the older players. Now we have a bed of the young players who we can grow and nurture and sort of re... Kind of, can't say regurgitate, but kind of, you know, reinvest. We, we're going to lose Jack. And it's a shame, you know, I like Jack Clark. I do, I like him a lot. It was brilliant. I watched Sun Until I Die season three. No spoilers. Jack Clark comes across as a really nice person. But we're going to lose him. We're going to lose him in the summer. But if we do, we can't just bend over and take it and get cheap money for Jack Clark. We've got to make sure whoever comes in for Jack Clark, we fucking get the top dollar. Top dollar, otherwise it's wasted. Otherwise the model, the model's fucked. The model is fucked if we don't get top dollar for these players. If we let Jack Clark go for five million less than he's worth, then what's the fucking point of the model? There's no point. It's pointless. Because we've got to reinvest all that money to bring in other players at the next level up to get us up into the fucking play playoffs and then, the and then the Premier League. So we have to make sure if we don't get promoted this season, we make sure we don't sell Jack Clark. If we do, we get top dollar. But that game tonight, I mean, let's look at it. Their goal came from a free kick. Look on nine, drives in, smashes their player. Free kick, yellow card. And as much as I love Luke on nine, is it now time to change one or two things? Look at <clears throat> people say, why change the, why, why, we change, why would you change the defence? Right? We're in 10th place. We're fucking in 10th place. We're not going to make the playoffs by sitting on our fucking laurels and doing the same thing week in, week out. We've got to do something different. If that means moving Luke going nine into Dan Neal's role that he plays now and bringing Silt into defence, have two centre-backs doing centre-back jobs. Move Luke going nine to the hold of midfielder position, then that frees... Dan Neal further forward with Ekwa in the midfield to create more going forward for the legs of Bushin. Because we can't just fucking do the same thing every bastard week. We'll win a game. We'll lose a game. We'll win a game. We'll lose a game. It's not good enough. It's not good enough if you want promotion. Now, I don't know about you, but I want to be in the playoffs. I want to try and get promoted this season. I don't want to sit fucking twiddling me thumbs, fingers and thumbs in 10th, 9th, 8th and 7th up until the last game of the season. And the only way we're going to progress and have a chance at the playoffs is by beating these low league teams. They're down there for a reason. I didn't care what you say. They're down there for a reason. They're in fourth or bottom, not because they've won loads of games, because they're poor. Now, I don't know why we don't perform in the first half. I don't know what it is. We sit back, whether we think we're too good, whether the players think, you know, prima donnas in, in their own mind, whether they're legends in their own mind, because they're not. And they sit back and they just let the game go on. We've got to take it up teams in the first half. Raise our game. Maybe we're just not good enough. Maybe, we just, maybe I'm just thinking shite and we're just not good enough. Man of the match tonight? I, 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 can't, even, I can't even think positive about the team, to be honest, no. Um, Trey Hume, I thought he was okay. I thought Trey Hume probably, yeah, I'll give it, I'll give my man of the match Trey Hume. You know, I may be wrong. Let me know yours. I thought Jack Clark was mapped off the pitch and when he had the ball, by the time he gets the ball, it's too slow, it's too late. He can run forward, but there's too many bodies around. He, get, he gets smothered. He gets too smothered. 
going through midfield, Ekwa, Dan Neal. Dan Neal's too far back. And then when we see some of the play, we've got legs of Job deep as well with Ekwa. So we haven't, we've got too many bodies deep. We've got no chance of getting into the penalty box and having players forward. And then it just puts the icing on the cake. We bring on... We, oh, someone let me know. Let me know. Right. We take off a striker to put a midfielder on. Then we take off a midfielder to put a striker on. Just... I, I just don't understand that. Why can't we take a striker off and put a fucking striker on? And yet, when Burstow comes on, he's defending. And there's nobody, we've got absolutely nobody forward. I'm just like, I'm sorry if I make no sense. I am absolutely pissed off with this season. I am. You know, patience is a virtue. Those who, those who, who are right behind the model, you people <clears throat> who are behind the model, who are behind Speakman, who are behind Bale. You've got patience of a saint. You really have. I applaud you. You've got patience of a saint. I don't. I don't. I want success <laughs> as soon as possible. I'm not asking much, to be fair. Not as if like we're, we're a team who gets like 5,000 fans a week. We're not. I don't think it's too much to ask to strive for better. Strive for promotion this season. Strive for the playoffs. You know, Coventry dropped points tonight. That just, just, it just shows we're not good enough. Simple as, at this moment in time, where the model is, our team are not good enough. Job's not good enough at this moment in time. Bar is not good enough. The midfield... The system, the formation, it's not good enough. The tactics is not good enough. It's all just not good enough. I could go on forever. It's, for me, I'm sorry, it's just a waste. It's an absolute waste of opportunity. It's always a waste of opportunity. This season, away from home, for whatever reason, we're just shite. Right, there you go. I'm sorry for the doom and gloom. I am pissed off. No, I'm not going to apologise. Fuck it, I'm not. No, no, I'm not. Right? I strive for better. I want better. Why shouldn't I want my team to be in the playoffs? Now, whether the team isn't good enough or the manager's not using the right tactics, it is what it is. We'll move on to Birmingham. Tony Mowbray next. Something has to change. Away from home, something's got to be different. We need to find a way to bring strikers into this game and this team. Because we do a lot, but in the box, by the time we get to the box, <laughs> somebody's built a snowman. I don't know. Right. Take care. God bless me. God go with you. Let me know your comments down below. Am I too harsh? Am I just. I don't know. Right. We'll see you later. I'm so disappointed. I am so disappointed. You, you try and get behind the team. And Beal, you think, you know, <clears throat> as much as we didn't want Beal here, any glimmer of hope, Plymouth 3-1. Yes, Beal, well done. Let's get behind Beal, well done. And we move on to this fucking next game. And it's a load of shit. Right, we'll see you later. Thanks for watching. Take care. God bless. Subscribe to the channel if you want. If you don't want to, I'm not bothered. See you later.